Yeah, no, it's a good. I cover. love Christmas time. I was just thinking. I was talk, talking to somebody, and I said, "You know, this is the longest I've gone in a while without hearing or seeing any Christmas shit." Like, it, I made it almost to Thanksgiving. I feel like with a minimal amount True. of being barraged by Christmas, but now it's starting up. Yeah. Well, well also you're just supposed be, to go in stores and stuff. yeah, you're not exactly you're not traveling as much. But I watch TV and all that. I don't feel like there was a lot of commercials with this stuff. Mm. No. I do go in the stores actually. I go pretty like much to the mall of, and department stores and stuff. Not every day, but I was in the mall like a week ago. Oh wow. Three oh. days ago, something like that. How is it in those malls? You wouldn't know there was any COVID. It's oh god. Like, well, other than a good percentage of people who are wearing masks, but okay. like the, by the amount of people out, you wouldn't know anything. Uh, but there's quite a few not wearing masks too, especially the workers. Like the people, like the, the the clientele, they they throw them out if they don't wear the mask. But like the workers all will run around with no masks, on, which I don't. I hate to I hate to shit on anybody because I know they're working. It's not an easy job and all that, but it's like. I just don't feel it's that hard to wear a fucking mask. You know and I mean? they're the more at risk than the customers because they're around strangers all fucking day. You'd think they'd want to wear a mask. I yelled at somebody because like she like and it was the like the basically the, the store owner's like wife or something. So oh, I didn't no. feel like I was yelling at an employee or whatever. Which I wouldn't do. But she refused to like I, I went in to order food. I ordered it rather than calling. I went in and she has her mask on the neck warmer position. <laughs> and I said, I, like, I, re I really love your food here. I really like everything. The service is great. You got a sign on the front door that says you can't come in without a mask. Look, I got a mask on. You got a whole line of people here wearing a mask and you're not wearing the fucking mask. So why would I want, like, you know what I mean? I, yeah. I, I feel, I feel like put off from, from giving you my, my, and she's like, yeah, it's all I, come on, I can't. You expect me to breathe for eight hours? Like, she started giving me an attitude. Oh, I can't breathe for eight hours with this thing on, okay? So, I'm like, why wear it at all then? Just to yeah. put on a show for people? If they're going to find us if I don't have it. So, I was like, you got the wrong attitude about this shit, you know? And I walked out. That kind of leads to my other my story, if you guys don't mind. Yeah. Please. Great transition. So, I went into the bank, into the ATM, not into the bank, the ATM vestibule. <laughs> <laughs> uh, to, to do some banking and uh, I wait outside until I see everyone in there has their mask on properly which usually usually is not a big deal once or twice there's some jerk off that goes in there ahead of me without a mask on so I wait two minutes or whatever this is like during the daytime when there's still like foot traffic everywhere and stuff this was it was about 6 p.m. Oh, okay so there was a good amount of people going in and out but most of them wear masks so it's usually not a big deal I go in. The last person who was even in there walks out. He got his he had his nose exposed. I was like, ah, oh, whatever. Look at my phone for a minute. I don't want to take any risks. I know it's stupid. I'm not, the odds of me getting something like that are minuscule, but it just makes me feel better. I go inside. I'm the only one in there. I go to the far left. There's like eight kiosks of banking teller machines. I go to the far left one. Uh, and I start doing my shit like 30 seconds later, a woman with a stroller comes in with no mask. Kid has no mask. Oh. Walks right next to me and takes kiosk number two. And out of eight, you understand? She couldn't even go to the far one. Comes right up on me. And I go, are you, are you serious? Like I stopped what I was doing. I turned. Are you fucking kidding me? Like, why are you on this one? Mind your business. I said, Wait, why? Do, like, why are you not? This wearing is your business, though. Yeah. It is my business. You're gonna breathe on me. Do you understand? And you gotta. She's. This is what she says. She says, "Why don't you put on two masks then? If you're worried about it." Oh God. <laughs> I said, why don't you put on a fucking mask? She said, worry about your fucking business. Don't worry about my fucking business. I said, it is my fucking business because you're breathing on me. She says, you take care of yourself. I said, we all have to take care of each other. Then she called me the N-word. What? What? <laughs> then she said, and I'm not going to repeat it, but in her Russian accent, she says, that's, uh, she says, uh, why don't you go hang out with all the other N-words if you want to put a mask on? I was like, well, first of all, what does that what? have to do with anything? And, and then said, she called you a Jew bastard. <laughs> <laughs> you don't belong here! 
<laughs> so that was my wow. Uh, wow. I didn't even fit. I, I was trying to move money between two accounts, so I took out like a thousand dollars, and I was in the process of putting it into another account, and I didn't. I just walked out because I'm not going to stand there. So you didn't even turn around. Transaction. Sp- she might spit on me. Who the fuck? Knows? What? So as she drops the n word on you. What? And then you walk out, or was there more? I was stunned. Like I couldn't believe the combination of things that just had happened. Yeah. So I was like, I didn't even have a comeback. Like, what am I supposed <laughs> to say? Wow. Like you, you called me the wrong racial slur. <laughs> like, like that Wait, doesn't seem there... appropriate. Wow. Is there a word in Russian that sounds similar to the n word? Mm. In English, no. like but it's the used? N-word. There's yes, the people in Russian it. say a Russian version of the N-word. It just sounds the same way. Mm. So there's no, like, accidental, she meant something else. And the way she said it, like, it rhymes with beekeeper, you know? <laughs> it was like, it wasn't even, you know what I mean? It was just, <laughs> Ew, wow. Yeah. Very contemptuous, horrible woman. I, and then when I, I gathered my shit, I just turned around and walked to the door. I turned around and said, I feel sorry for your child. Because you have to be raised not yeah. only in the COVID world with no fucking Oof. protection at all and your mother breathing on you constantly, but you also are going to grow up to be a racist. So it's fucked up. God damn. It's fucking awful. And this is what's around. I, I live in a hot zone. Like this is a hot zone zip code yeah. that I live in. Uh, that's what's around me. 